Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in our Let's Play series and I'm here where I finished mining a 576 by 576 area mostly for the diamonds I know you are curious to see how many diamonds I got but that's gonna be at the end of the video and you can see there is a, a mine shaft there so maybe I come back here to get some no renewable cobwebs <laughs> and there is actually a, a spawner there as in, in the, this level uh, but yeah this here is full of cobblestone and in total we got 285 shulker boxes of cobblestone which is almost a half a million cobblestone but then yeah, now let's go to our mushroom island village to take a look at what we built there this week Okay, we are here in our Mushroom Island village where we built a library in the cartographer house last episode. In this episode, I added a cemetery to the church here. You can see we have some dead here. Someone flew into a wall while on fire. Yeah, there is a few candles and flowers here. It's a very simple cemetery, but I, I like it. But the other thing I build is there, on the other side of the bridge. There we go, we are getting here. And this is an area for the fishermen. I still need to somehow bring the fishermen villagers that are there to here. So yeah, I just built two little huts here, or houses, for some of the and fishermen there is this one and this one is even simpler here just a, a little bit of a house and there is a dock here with some uh, boats i added some lily pads and uh what's this called again drip leaf yeah just to to add something here and then there is this pier uh, where the fishermen can store some stuff in these uh, barrels or cook some fish eat some fish here in these tables and uh, can come here to fish in the ocean here get some dolphins or something <laughs> there go there's some fish there the only thing i didn't bring here is some fishing rods <laughs> and yeah also i'm i'm still need to the meal the grass everything here so yeah there is still quite a lot of stuff to do and maybe there is a village there maybe i should move the villagers uh, to here but yeah we will work on uh, the next few episodes on this village let's go now to spawn and look at our fiery forest aha uh -huh, here we are at the fiery forest and we are actually done with all the trees as you can see and also I have done these falling trees here that laid down with the explosion here the explosion just destroyed all the leaves all the branches and just left the, the logs here falling down and we also finished the, the strongholds here in the ravine, the ancient strongholds. Ouch, ouch. And yeah, some magma melting down here. This is how it looks from above. Yeah, I think it looks really, really cool. Well, or really, really hot, I guess. <laughs> and uh, especially walking inside here, I think this is the, the best look in that night. But there is one thing left to make this look even better. Shaders, haha. <laughs> now I'm a great builder, look at this. With shaders. <laughs> 
And I think it looks even better if I reduce the hinder distance a little bit. Yeah, look at this. With less hinder distance, we don't see those mountains behind there. So it is a little bit better, I think. The fog and all that. But actually, we still do need to build one thing here. That is the elemental. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but the lore is after we completed the, the netherite beacon. It released a bunch of cosmic energy from the far elements. And that energy infused some mobs in Minecraft, creating the elementals. And I guess the element is easy to guess. It's fire, of course. It's a fiery forest. But what is the mob? Can you guess what mob we are gonna build here? Let's take a look down here with shaders. Yeah, it looks really really good here. So very likely next week we're gonna show the mob here ready and of course if you want to see me building it you can uh, join me on twitch link is in the description also let me sleep to see how this looks at daytime there we go that's how it looks in the morning <laughs> And how does it look without the shaders? Yeah, even without shader it looks uh, great. Shaders of course is always better, but it does look good without shaders. Now they burn the trees and all that. But yeah, next week we're probably gonna finish this project. But now let's see how many diamonds we got by mining a big area. Ah, we are finally here on our storage here that already finished sorting everything we mined. And let's take a look. So first here we have some copper because some of the chunks there were actually 1.18 chunks. But uh, mostly of the chunks were old chunks. And I know seeing the 1.18 chunks we get like zero diamonds. It's really hard to get diamonds in these chunks. And uh, these glass bottles are the uh, potions we used, the night vision potions. So each glass bottle is 8 minutes. So this is about 48 hours of mining. And let's see what we got here. Uh, we got 10 shulkers of gravel, almost 11 shulkers. We got uh, uh, 6 shulkers of dirt. We got uh, uh, 16 shulkers, almost uh, 17 of diorite. 18 shulkers of indesite. 15 shulkers of granite and here is the valuables we got almost 6 shulkers of headstone blocks which is crazy, it's a lot I really like it, now I don't need to worry about having headstone anymore we got almost 4 shulkers of coal blocks we got 2 shulkers and a little bit of uh, raw uh, iron because we used the farton we got one shulker and a half, a little bit more of uh, lapis lazuli blocks. And we got a little bit more than 10 stacks of uh, raw gold blocks. But the diamonds, we got 7 full stacks of diamond blocks, plus 13 blocks, plus 4 diamonds. If we transform all these in diamonds, we get 64, almost 65 stacks of diamonds which is enough to make 593 pieces of armor trim, which was our goal. 
But maybe I, I'm just gonna do a diamond beacon, I never did a diamond beacon before. If we do a diamond beacon, this is what we need for a beacon and we still have all these left. Which is still enough for 382 uh, pieces of armor with trim. Which is like 95 armor sets, full sets of armor. So yeah, maybe I will do a beacon. I don't know, let me know in the comments, should I do a diamond beacon, should I not do a diamond beacon? I mean, I have a netherite beacon and I don't have a diamond beacon, that seems illegal. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys liked this episode and I see you in the next one. Bye!